Hello! Today I would like to show you my newest project. Two-seater go-kart for my kids. Mm, uh, being more specific, it meant to be a small go-kart, just capable to take two kids, but during designing I lose the focus and um, made two seats, strong frame, full suspension, additional trunk, so it turns to be a small car rather than the go-kart. Oh, and this will be only the glimpse, not very technical, but I will make a technical tutorial at the future. Let's begin. I started work from buying things, not from making the frame project. Why? Because I didn't know what I will be able to buy at scrapyards, which cheap parts will I buy and if they will be compatible all together. I've bought parts from motorcycles, quads, small cars like Tico, and engine from pumps and electric generators. It not sounds like parts for a small car, more like parts for something like Frankenstein, but believe me, all these parts work perfect altogether. When I had all parts, I've made the design. Nothing complicated, just to see in my mind how the car will look like and what angles it will have. After making the design, I've uh, cleaned the mess in my workshop. Oops. I started cutting and welding. I'm not a professional welder, so I didn't have a special place for that. I just have some wood clamps and one, really only one magnetic holder. But as you can see, I managed to make a frame. It took a lot of time, especially angle joints, and I had to make some strange constructions to hold elements during welding, but after a few evenings, the frame was ready. I made an independent suspension on the front from tubing, metal profiles and shock absorbers from some ATVs vehicles. It is adjustable and believe me, it works really, really good. The rear suspension had to include the engine because the axle is driven by the chain and the chain during drive have to have the same length. If not, it will be loose and fall off. The engine powers two wheels at the same time. Why? This is the perfect for sand and mud, and since the whole construction isn't street legal, it will run almost always on sand and gravel. As we are speaking about the engine, I use the engine from water pumps. This is the typical Honda GX200 clone. What is important, I use a variator as an automatic gearbox. It wasn't compatible with my crankshaft, so it was really pain in the ass to make both things work all together. Safety. Uh, the car is for kids, so I've installed the big brake from some motorcycle, fully hydraulic, and also I've added the seat belts, and in my opinion that should be enough. The whole project was really fun to me. I always wanted to make something like this. As you can see, this was also the fun for my kids. They were really helpful. The older son even painted the car with a spray lacquer. seats for the go-kart I've made from wood and asked my wife to cover it with something. I didn't expect that she will buy so cool fabric and that she will do so nice looking seats. Look at them. Cool. So the budgie is ready. As you can see it has, as I said, full suspension, trunk, cool kill switch, button, but most important it has adjustable seats and you can move the brake and gas pedal on the right side. Why? To be able to let the kid drive the steering wheel and parent to still have the control of the speed. Clever idea in my opinion. Jak ci się podoba? Yes, 
<laughs> the kids are really happy from the car, almost so happy as I was making it. Gokart has still locked engine with the governor and the speed is limited to about 35 km per hour. Small for you? But remember this is for a small kids, uh, not a real budgie. Ok then, let's stop talking and just enjoy the ride. The cockart is ready, kids are happy, and not only them, so till the next project, bye!